Tis the season of the Christmas tree, and increasingly many people are asking whether artificial or real trees are better for the environment. Now there's a better option. CBS's Roxana Saberi has the story. At Primrose Vale Farm in England, it's the shape that's important. Laurie Sparing is looking for the perfect Christmas tree. This might be the one. A living potted one that he's renting for around $80. Why a rental tree? It's obviously great for the environment. I can bring it back and also it'll last the whole time over Christmas and they haven't had to go out and cut one down. Calculating the environmental cost of a Christmas tree can be complicated. Environmentalists say a chopped tree can leave a heavy carbon footprint unless it's recycled and that plastic trees can be even worse unless they're reused over many years. That's one reason rental trees are a growing trend here. We're planting more each year and we can't plant them fast enough, to be honest. Manager Paul Keane says nearly all of his farm's 1,000 firs and spruces for rent were reserved long before the holidays. Why is it so popular? Well, you're keeping a tree alive. There is something that sort of feels a bit morally wrong about watching a tree grow for 10 years to cut it down just for three weeks to throw it away. After Christmas, the rental trees will be brought back here. They'll be replanted in these pots in the ground where they'll live to see another Christmas. That's what Sparing plans to do, decking his halls year after year with a rental tree. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Gloucestershire, England.